Hi there, this is Dina and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to film something a little bit different with you guys. Um, I wanted to this year keep better track of the things in our home like cleaning and maintenance type things. So I came up with this kit and it's kind of like a notes page kit but um, it's just designed so you can keep track of your home maintenance or home cleaning. I just titled, titled it home maintenance because I think that covers it all. So what I'll just show you the kit first and then I'll kind of go ahead and set it up. Um, this might be boring for some of you but I guess you don't have to watch it if it's not up your alley or anything like that. So um, here's the first sheet and this is just the title top washi and it just says yearly home maintenance and it is a photo kit. Um, and then I put all the little like check boxes, you know, the little dots for the check boxes separate because some people might have more or less each month to do or they might want to write more details in and space their check, you know, checklist out more. So I just wanted to make that more um, customizable, I guess, if you will. And then some people might not even want to use those. So that's why those are separate. And then you just get a box for each month of the year to put in here. And so this is set up for the Happy Planner, for the classic size Happy Planner. And I just found that it works best in, I mean, with the grid paper. So that's why I'm using it on the grid paper. Um, just because there's lines going both ways so it's easier to line everything up and just a disclaimer i'm not the best at lining up stickers straight so bear with me i'll do the best i can and i'm not really super picky either i know some people don't like it when their stuff gets crooked a little bit or whatever but i'm not one of those super picky people so if that bothers you i'm sorry <laughs> but that's just not me so i'm gonna go ahead and just put this all the way up at the top to start off with and I kind of lined it up with, when I was playing around with this, that top line a little bit. Just like that. And then I pushed it over all the way to the left there. This might have gone a little bit too far over. Let me just double check. I think it'll be okay. But it should go over a little bit more that way. But I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so I'm going to start off by first putting in... Let me just zoom in a little tiny bit. This is how I think it'll like fit best when you're doing it is starting off with January, kind of lining up the, ah, the top lines. I think I had too much coffee again today. So my hands are a little bit shaky. So there's January and then what I did to kind of, I was playing around with this to see what the easiest way to put everything in is put the top row in first and then sorry I have to kind of tilt it I'm trying not to put my head in the viewfinder so this is a little bit tricky for me I'm not a pro at this <laughs> so let's see yeah and then we'll put February in I mean March in and I'm kind of new at this home maintenance stuff too so you know, if you guys have, you know, I'm going to kind of go over what I'm going to use mine for. And if you have any suggestions on like yearly maintenance things for me, I always would appreciate to know too what, what are some of the things that you guys do in your home, like to maintain them. Just let me know if you have any suggestions for me. I'm kind of newer at this, you know, home maintenance stuff. I, well, I'm not new at it. I just haven't been very good at it maintaining it so I want to get better this year so that's why I want to keep track of it in my planner so what I'm doing is going this way first and then this way and it just makes it a lot easier to line up the boxes so and I think there's four columns of three yeah oops that's over a little bit so you do kind of want to try to line up the um, boxes as straight as you can. Like I said, I'm not the best at that, so mine might be a little crooked in the end, but that's okay. Um, this is bigger than the Erin Condren, so it won't fit in the Erin Condren, but 
If you guys want it for the Erin Condren, I could probably make one just like this, the same thing for the Erin um, Condren size planner. Now I'm trying to see where I put my other page. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. So I liked how I wanted this to kind of be like a house looking. So I found the top washi with, you know, the houses in it. And I thought that was pretty cute for this type of a thing. But at the same time, I wanted to keep this kind of simple so that it would work for everybody. You know, like some, if I did floral or something, not everybody likes floral. Or if I did like girls, a lot of gr people don't like girls and their pictures of girls in their planner. So I tried to kind of keep it, you know, as open for everybody um, as possible. So this is kind of the easiest way to get them to line up straight if you are using this kit. And it just kind of, you just kind of scoot it into, it's like fitting a puzzle together almost. And I don't know like how many, whoopsie, that wasn't good, I'm going to have for each month. So I probably won't put in all of my dots for my checklists all at the beginning because I'm still kind of learning and doing this for the first time. So, um... That could change. I might have to add more. So I don't want to like put just three dots per box or just four dots per box, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to kind of do the ones that I know I'm going to have. And then like as I learn through the year, I'll add more. Or if I get come up with more stuff that I'm finding needs to be done. Um, a lot of this stuff, like, or not a lot of it, but some of it I won't have to do because uh, my home's a condo. I don't have an actual, like, I don't have to take care of the roof or anything like that. That's all included in my condo. And, like, I don't have a yard, so I wouldn't have to worry about things like sprinklers or any of that type of stuff. Or fences. I don't know how you maintain all those, but you get the gist of it. I don't have to worry about the exterior stuff or like I was reading through some of the yearly suggest suggested I can't talk home maintenance um lists and some of them were like touch up paint on the outside exterior of your home so I don't have to worry about that because I'm I'm in a condo so that's why I said not everything pertains to me okay so what I'm gonna do is I have these and then I have my little tweezers someone suggested so why can't I say that word suggested I use these in my last video for smaller stickers so I'm going to try that out and then I have a little list of things that need to be done so I'm going to go through it the first thing is on January this part might be boring so I apologize um I know for sure is when I want to do my tax all of my Etsy tax paperwork so I'm going to write that in Etsy tax papers and then um, next thing I came up with was I want to clean my ceiling fans and I'm going to do that four times a year so which month January and then we'll go every four months after that so let's put a dot in January for that and then one, two, three, four, May. Right? Is that right? No. I think I did it every three months. Yeah, every three months, I'm sorry. Four times a year. So one, two, three. Year. And then one, two, three here. One, two, three there pretty sad that I have to count each one but oh well <laughs> it's just how my brain works so then we'll just write in ceiling fans for 
for each of those. Okay, did I miss one? One, two, three, four, I forgot October. So, oh, it just didn't stick. I'm like, I thought I did that. That's so funny. That would be a good blooper, huh? Oops, I'll just add it there. Okay, so ceiling fans are done, and then I want to go through and do all of the cobwebs in my house, you know, with the little duster thing. Um, and I just, I have really high ceilings, so I just do that. And I'm really short. I'm barely five foot. So I'm going to do that every other month. So we'll start with January. Hopefully I'm leaving enough room to put all of the things in. So you guys are kind of figuring this out with me as we go. Yeah, so let me go through and put... I don't know why, but I hate doing that because, like, we don't really get spiders, but it just, they creep me out. They make me think of spiders, and I have the biggest fear of spiders and bees. Do you guys have, like, a fear of anything, like, or a phobia, I guess you would call it? My biggest one, though, is definitely bees. They, I just automatically freak out when I see them. I can't control myself. It's embarrassing, but I just have no control over my fear of bees. I, I won't even buy a planner sticker kit if it has a bee on it, and if it does, I'll cover up the bee because I just don't like bees. Okay, so I'm just going to write cobwebs in all of those. And I don't have the neatest handwriting, as you can tell, but it's okay. It does the job, right? Okay, so then the next thing I want to do is the dryer vent. So let's see. That's every four months, so let's see where I put that. In starting in January. So January is going to have a lot of stuff to do. So we'll put one for, I should have put these a little bit closer together, but that's okay. Every four months. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So September. And then I think that's it because it's just three times a year. Yeah. Okay, so I'll write in dryer vent. And dryer vent. There we go. Okay, and then the next thing is we have fans in our bathroom, ceiling fan, or on the ceiling for the fans. So I want to do those twice a year. So I picked, let's see. Which one did I pick? I'm trying to look at my little cheat sheet. February and um, August. So we'll put those in. February and August. One thing I didn't add was cleaning the baseboards in my house. So I can add that later, but Right now I'm just going to do the things that I have listed for now, so I have time to think about where to put those. I don't want to do it while I'm doing a video. Just thought of it. Just kind of popped up. Bathroom. Fans. Okay. And then the AC filter needs to be switched every three months. So that's one thing I'm not good at. I really need to get better at that. So we started that in February. That's when it's due. So, we'll go every three months after that. Ugh. Stay. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, I'm glad I kept these little dots separate. So then you can, if you have more one month, you can add more or less. 
you're not stuck. Where was I? Oh, one, two, three. Here. One, two, three. November. Here. Okay. So that's AC filter starting in February. And then, did I miss one? One, two, three, one, two, three. No, I didn't. Okay. All right, so that was, and then I want to clean the fridge out, and it's just the two of us here, so our fridge doesn't get super dirty, honestly, so I'm going to do that twice a year, um, like a real deep cleaning and clean all the vents out and all of that, so let me see, I'm trying to see which month, June and December I picked, so that's funny, I kind of picked at random places here, I always do that when I'm picking up stickers, so June and December. Here we go. And I'm just going to write fridge for that because I know what it means. Okay. And then the windows I want to clean twice a year. Like the okay, sorry about that. I wanted to stop for a second because my neighbors were kind of being loud outside. So I don't want you to hear screaming. Um, so where I was at is the windows I want to do twice a year. So I'm going to do that in March and where is the other month? I'm six months from that. So let's see. I don't think I wrote it on my little cheat sheet here. Well, I'll just put it in March for cleaning all the windows around the house inside and out. One, two, three, four, five, six. In September, sorry about that. It's hard to think and plan at the same time and talk. <laughs> all right, so I'm almost done with this, I promise. Hopefully this isn't too terribly boring. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add my heater maintenance and my air conditioning maintenance. So heater, that's when I have someone come and maintenance, do the maintenance on it for the year, is in October. I want to do that before it starts to get cold, or as you would call it, cold in California, which it's not. So, And then May is going to be for the AC maintenance. So let me write that. Maintenance. And then heater down here. Ah. All right, I messed up that word, but that's okay. So that's everything. Um, one thing I did think of was I want to do my patio, clean my patio, but I don't know how frequent, and then my microwave. I want to give that a good cleaning because my daughter does make a mess of that. So I'm going to add those later. Um, and if you guys have any other suggestions for me, let me know in the comments below. I hope you like this. And I did list this kit up in the shop if anyone's interested um, in it. So it's available for the Happy Planner. And again, if you want it in the Erin Condren, just let me know. And I was just thinking I might add this, like this stuff, to the sidebar of my monthly. That would probably be a good place to put it in my calendar too. So I see it in two different places. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you next time bye bye